For the next three days, I'm gonna be eating only what I catch. It's some of the world's most extreme terrains. And this wild adventure all starts right now. Look at this right now, guys. This is absolutely incredible. We got beautiful, crystal clear water, white sand beaches, and some of the nicest coral reef systems you can get in the world out there. And for the next three days, guys, I'm gonna be eating only what I catch. And what we're doing is we got the spear gun for day number one, baby. Hopefully we can get some nice animals, but as this challenge goes on, it's gonna get harder and harder. And we've got some challenges for day number two and three that are gonna be absolutely ridiculous. What we're doing is we're making our way to this rocky headland in the distance. From there, I wanna jump out and explore the coral reef systems that surround it. Hopefully we can get some food. Oh my goodness, talk about paradise on earth. You guys can see out there, that is where we wanna to go to. We've reached this rocky headland. And from here, there should be a lot of bait and big fish surrounding this area. Look at all this. This is all bait fish in the shore bay. Look at them all right here. See them? Whoa, man. That is wild. Look at them all. All those big predatory fish, they're chasing all this bait into the shallows. And that's going to be a good opportunity for us to get some food on this spear gun. This looks like a good spot to drop off all of our gear. We'll gear up and we'll get ready to jump out along this headland. See if we can find some beautiful fish, man. Oh my goodness, I'm so frothing out right now, guys. Those bait fish are absolutely boiling up. And let me tell you, there's only one reason why they're in so close. And that's probably because big GTs and, you know, tuna and all that type of stuff is chasing that bait fish. So let's gear up and let's get out there. Alrighty guys, we got our mask right here and we got our spear gun. It is time to get out into the ocean and see if we can get food for day number one. Let's go, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is gonna get so sick, man. Oh, look at the fish already. All right, let's get out there. My goodness man, this is going to be some of the nicest conditions I've ever seen in my life. We'll make our way over to this coral reef system over here. We're going to go get some food. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, there's no way I'm eating that thing. Get out of here. Guys, we have done it, man. We have got food for day number one, and I'm treading very lightly because you guys can see right there, this is one of the most venomous animals in the whole entire world right here. And this is gonna be our food for day number one, baby. You guys can see, this is what they call a lionfish, man. And uh, a lot of people have told me that I need to try one of these because apparently they're really nice eating, but I've always been way too scared to shoot one 
and prepare it. But today's the day. Now, let me show you guys why these things are so venomous. You can see right here, these top spikes right there. If you get smacked by that, you're gonna be in a world of pain, man. Your body's gonna go into a state of shock. There's also spines on the bottom right there and also on the side right here. So you do not wanna get smacked by this animal. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna get a fire going on sunset and this is gonna be food for day number one. <laughs> this thing is freaking wild, man. All right, let's get to cleaning this thing up, eh? We gotta whip out the big guns for this. Look at this big old Bowie knife that I have. This is what we're gonna clean her up with so that we can stay safe. So, and I'm just gonna make my way down on this animal trying to be super careful here guys we've taken one fin off right there you guys can see we'll get rid of that all right we've taken that bottom spine off you can see right there i'm just making my way along this top of this fish right here he can't spike us anymore this is going to be food for day number one that should be a nice meal right there i've never eaten one of these before so i'm keen to give it a shot i'm going to leave her right here guys we're going to go collect some firewood right now we're going to get a fire going all right one of the sickest things about these beautiful beaches guys is what washes up we can use all of this to our advantage you can see all this driftwood right here we're going to collect all of this we'll take this over and we'll get her on the cook let's go this will go absolutely epic over a fire we've got some small stuff now we've got larger stuff we just need to collect some kindling and then we'll get this lion fish on the cook you see these pieces right here <sighs> That's what we're looking for, baby. That's our kindling right there. That is absolutely perfect. We're losing light pretty quick, so I want to get this on the cook, man. All right, there we go. We've got our kindling right there. We've got some small sticks, and we've got some larger sticks. There we go. All right, I got this nice green piece of wood. This is what we're going to feed our fish on too, and this is going to stop it from burning when we get that fire absolutely cooking, baby. I've got all that kindling right there. You can see what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna break this all up. I just want this to be super light and fibrous. We've got our steel and flint right now. It's time to get this thing sparked and going, eh? Let's go. There we go. Woo. There's nothing better than a sunset cook up, guys. Especially when we're eating one of the most poisonous animals in the whole entire world, baby. Oh, I cannot wait to give this thing a try. It literally has horns like the devil. Look at it. Ah, well, the arm's getting cooked. Now I've gone and grabbed this green bit right here. You guys can see. I want to actually just prep it quickly to put our fish on. Now the reason I've grabbed this green bit, as you guys know, is because it's not going to burn like all that dead wood right there. So you can see she's nice and green. She's ready to go. What I'm going to do is I want to feed this stick straight through its mouth and straight out its ass. We'll feed it all the way along. And the thing is pretty much just going to sit just like that, we've got a fish on a stick. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bury him straight over the fire and I'll slowly turn this fish and that will get a nice cook right there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know how I feel about eating this animal, but look, we're eating a lionfish. You gotta give it a shot, hey? I'm all about trying new species. As you guys saw, it was probably one of the easiest shots I've ever taken. These things barely move, guys. But a lot of you guys have been commenting, Wade, you need to try lionfish every single time I show you guys when I see them underwater. So. I guess today's that day, guys. We got one of the world's most venomous animals and that's what we're eating for day number one. Alrighty, take a look at this bad boy. We've just grabbed this from one of the low-lying trees up there. We're gonna crack open this bad boy. How sick's the Bowie knife, guys? This is what we're cutting into the coconut with. All right, you guys can see that coconut is ready to be popped open. We're gonna keep it just to the side right here and that's gonna be our drink with our meal, baby. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a turn. Oh. Oh, that's hot. All right, you guys can see right now, I'm just slowly turning our lionfish right there. She's just about ready to go. We've got our coconut ready. You guys might be wondering like, Wado, why the hell does your head look like an absolute peanut? It's because my eye is so swollen, guys, and that is because I got stung by a bee on my eye right there. So the thing is literally swollen up like a bloody baseball right now. So I just want to get this meal into me guys before I go completely blind. I reckon about two more minutes and then this fish is going to be just about ready for us to start hooking into. Oh my goodness guys, look how good that looks right now. Alrighty guys, I think our fish is just about done. You can see it right there. Looks absolutely epic. All right, let's get her over to this piece of wood and we'll serve it up there, eh? Alrighty guys, you can see how beautiful that fish looks right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this stick straight off it. That is our beautiful meal for day number one. All right, let's rip a bit of meat off this fish. See how she goes down. Oh, look how incredible and white that meat looks right there, guys. So I'm just gonna take this skin off and I'm just gonna hook straight into this meat. I'm not gonna lie, this meat looks really, really good. Look at it right there. It's so white, man. 
that is so tender and i think it's because these fish don't actually move that fast guys they don't move much so the muscle is super tender it's not firm it's kind of like super flaky but it is absolutely incredible let me tell you guys there's not going to be a flake left of meat on this fish i'm smashing it all all you guys that said lionfish tastes good I now believe you guys, oh my goodness, this is so white and so tender, the meat, man. Besides the hassle of cutting off all the spines and risking your life, it's actually really good. Alrighty, guys, that's all that's left of this fish. We've got this beautiful coconut to wash down our meal, but tomorrow it's going to get a whole lot harder, guys. The stakes are rising, and we need to get food for day number two. Cheers, and I'm going to see you guys bright and early tomorrow for day number two. Alrighty guys, that sun has set over the horizon for day number one. I'm feeling pretty good after that meal, but day number two tomorrow is gonna get a whole lot harder. I'm gonna see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Let's go, baby. Yee good morning to you guys, and it is day number two right now, and we are out on these coastal tide pools. I got a spear in hand, and we got a captain right here. Geo, the OG captain, all this water has drained straight off these tide pools and it's left these little pockets of water. Now all the animals guys, they actually get stuck in here on the low tide and that's gonna be a good opportunity for us to spear them or grab them with our bare hands. Now out here guys, you do not know what you're gonna find. There's stonefish, we got stingrays, we got moray eels and we also got cone shells. All of them are stuck in these tide pools also and I'm running barefoot right now as you guys can tell. So if I stand on one of them, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Anyone home? Oh. All right. Nothing under there, let's keep going. Just spotted this little crab. It's just like a little red eye crab right there. Dio right here says this, this one's a little bit too small. They find them a lot bigger across these tide pools. So I think we're gonna leave this one, hey? Keep exploring. Yeah. He's got one, he's got one, he's got one. We've got our first catch of the day. You guys can see he's got some pretty nice sized nippers on him right there. So this one over a fire, they quite nice. Yeah. Good eating, hey? Okay, so we're gonna chuck this one in the bucket and there's our first food. Eee! We've got food to start. We've got one little crab. That's definitely not going to feed us. So we've got to keep moving, eh, boys? Take a look at this right here, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, as you guys know, usually these tide pools will be underwater. But look at this. We've got a beautiful blue starfish. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. So I'm going to put him back in this little pond where I found him. But check out the colors in that thing. There's some absolute sick creatures down here in this tide pool. So I'm going to take this backpack off and I'm going to show you what's down there. Whoa, I think I found some food also guys, but take a look at this. First of all, we got this beautiful starfish right there. Bright blue and bright orange star right there. And this is where the spear comes in handy, 100%. Now look at that bad boy. That right there is a giant sea urchin, man. And that is gonna be some food that we're gonna be able to have a little bit later on. We'll get that in the bucket. All right, I think Gio's just found something up here. That is a bloody sea slug. That's a slug. <laughs> you eat this slug. All righty, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know if I wanna eat that slug. Gio, I don't know if I wanna eat that slug, brother. Right now, all we're eating for day number two is slugs and sea urchins. So we gotta get something better. Take a look at this, there's starfish everywhere. This is absolutely wild. Look at this, boom, 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 boom. All righty, I think Gio's just found something, guys. All right, you guys can see there's the clamshell right there. We're actually gonna eat this thing a little bit later on, so I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. Are these things nice? Are they good? Really good. Really good, these ones? Okay, apparently these are really, really good. Best one ever. The best, you think? Yeah. I've never eaten one of those before in my life, so <laughs> nice work. We're starting to get some good uh, animals in the basket, finally. All right, what's this? One here. Oh, okay. What do you call this one? No uh, name. <laughs> Just delicious. <laughs> Just food. <laughs> Just food. <laughs> All right, we're starting to work up a good feed right now, guys, of food. So we've got to keep moving. We still haven't found the big animal that we want to find just yet. So hopefully we can find that a little bit later on. But you guys can see we've got a lot of ground to cover along these flats. All right, take a look at this one. There's another type of sea urchid right there. You've got a mantis shrimp underneath here, guys. Yeah, yeah. There he is. We got a mantis shrimp, man. Apparently these right here, guys, are an ocean delicacy. You can see mantis shrimp. So we're gonna put him away and we're gonna put him over a fire a little bit later on. We'll give him a shot. We got another mantis shrimp here. <laughs> ah, where is he? 
Take a look at these mantis shrimp right here, guys. These are one of the craziest animals in the world. Now, they've actually got these arms that are kind of like spring-loaded, and they use them, and they punch their prey and pretty much destroys it. Now, the power of this mantis shrimp is actually stronger than a bullet coming out of a gun, and that's why they can smash animals just by using those hands right there. They've actually got some crazy eyes that can, uh, I guess, turn a full 180 degrees, and they can see a whole range of colors that we can't including ultraviolet rays. These are one crazy animal and that's gonna be our food later on. That's a bit of tucker that we can have. That's definitely some food that we can chuck in the basket right there. You eat this one. The water fish. <laughs> 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 boom, 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 Oh, he doesn't want the sea cucumber. We're putting that one back. There's no way he's eating that. Now guys, over here, there is massive tides and the tide actually changes every six hours. So we only really got about an hour out here on this completely low tide before all this water starts to flow in. We're gonna have to start making our way back to shore pretty soon, but it just means that everything out here just stays so abundant because you only really get one hour or maybe two hours per day that you can actually come out here and hunt. Everything we're taking, guys, it's super sustainable. And these local guys, they've been doing it for hundreds of years. All right, you guys can see this bucket is just about full right now. So we've collected a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna take a look, hey? Eh? Take everything out. We got these right here. These are the clams, guys. These giant clams. We've collected a few of those. You can see. We're gonna save these ones for the fire later on. We got these sea urchins right here. We're gonna eat this one raw. Yeah. We'll open one. We'll put one to the <laughs> side. And also, look at this, guys. This is the pyramid shell. You can see. Oi! One of our guys is escaping. <laughs> Come back here. This is a rock crab right here, guys, you can see. And that's gonna be beautiful eating over the fire later on. We didn't even notice one of the animals was getting away, guys. <laughs> this is the slug from earlier. Man, come back here. <laughs> I cannot believe we're gonna eat this giant slug later on. Some of the strangest animals ever, and we're gonna eat them. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> the slug keeps running away. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him right there. This poor thing just wants guy. to escape. <laughs> this one going fast. <laughs> we're going to have one of these uh, sea urchins right now, and then all the rest we're going to throw over a fire a little bit later on. We're going to pop open one of these sea urchins right now. Inside this sea urchin, it's actually got this bright yellow stuff, and that's actually its ball sack right there, or its gonads. And that's the part we're gonna eat, hey Gio? It is the weirdest texture. It's like this bright yellow stuff. Let's give it a shot. It's like creamy, yeah. a little bit salty. It's actually a really nice flavor, hey? Yeah, it's natural flavor. It's natural flavor of the ocean. Alrighty guys, that tide's coming in right now, so we gotta make it back. But on the way back in, I'm snacking on this giant urchin that I speared a little bit earlier on. That right there, that is food for the moment. Let me tell you, it is super funky. Almost tastes like fruit. It's so sweet. Alrighty guys, we are back down at the beach right now and we have gone for one epic hunt today in the tide pools. The plan of attack is guys, we want to get a fire going on this beach and we want to chuck all of those weird and wonderful, I don't know how wonderful they are, but all those weird animals straight on the fire. All right, we're going to drop our stuff off right here. Guys, I have not eaten since that bloody sea urchin this morning, so I'm starving right now. I cannot wait to hook into some of this sea bounty. All right, Gio, you're going to collect some firewood for us. You got some good ones up here? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Someone's <laughs> left us a pile of wood right here. Right up here in the bushes, you guys can see, we'll grab some kindling. All of this stuff is absolutely perfect. We built this fire pit right here. We've lined it with wood and we've got all of our supplies right here. What we're gonna get to doing is cleaning up all of our seafood right now. I think there's a bit of preparation involved in a lot of these animals. So we'll go down to the water's edge. He's got his knife ready. All right, let's go. You show me how we prepare this. Take a look at this. This is all of our ocean bounty we're about to clean up. All right, this pile right here, these are all the animals that we don't really need to do much to prepare them. You can see we've got our mantis shrimp right there also. Don't need to do anything with those. Those things can just go straight over the fire. And all of our, I guess, slugs right here, these can go straight over the fire. All right, you can see right now what he's doing is he's just using his knife right there and he's just making his way along that clamshell and getting all the meat off the edges. Okay. I'm not looking forward to eating this, guys. It looks <laughs> disgusting. Are you sure this isn't going to kill me? No. No? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> That's the meat that comes out of this. Looks absolutely disgusting, man. Are you kidding me? We're going to eat this? Yeah. And you think this tastes good? Let's try. 
<laughs> he doesn't even think it tastes good. He just said, let's try. All right. We're going to eat this, guys. That's my dinner. Are you kidding me right now? All righty, guys. I think our uh, clam shells are just about ready. Take a look at them right now. Check out the colors. It's like snake colored right here. So they're prepped, ready for the fire. So we've got our steel and flint right now. We built this fire pit out and we collected this really light kindling right there. I'm going to get it sparked up and we're going to get our food on the cook for day number two, baby. All right, there we go. There we go, we got her on the cook now. All right, get those small twigs. Get those small twigs, Jill. <laughs> get it on. All right, you guys can see this fire is absolutely ripping in right now. So we're just gonna wait for it to burn down a little bit, but she's letting off some heat, that's for sure. <laughs> Are you getting cooked there or what? <laughs> We've burnt down this fire. We've got a really nice coal base going. So we're gonna get all the ingredients straight on right now. So. We might start out with this uh, slug right here. We'll, we'll chuck him on, eh? <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> you can't eat this one? Yeah, no. I don't want you to die here. Let's uh, have a traditional way to clean them up. Oh, okay. So you can't eat this one over a fire, guys. You have to eat a traditional <laughs> way. This poor slug has been trying to escape all day. So maybe we'll go let him go quickly. He's been trying to escape all day. I'm pretty happy I'm not eating that slug. And you were about to poison me. <laughs> he was about to poison me. All right. We'll say goodbye to the slug. See you later, buddy. Let's get back to cooking up this feast, eh? I'm starving. <laughs> Are you going to get the crab or am I going to get the crab? Yeah, maybe you. <laughs> you want me to get the crab? Okay. All right, you guys can see we've got our rock crab right there. We'll get him straight on the cook. We'll get these mantis shrimp on. So right now, we've pretty much got big shells over the fire. We've got the crab cooking away and also we've got the mantis shrimp. So we've got a bit of a feast going on here, eh? It is time to hook into food for day number two right now. I reckon what we do is we save the weirdest ones for last, guys. Alrighty, guys, you can see right there. Look at that. We've got our snail. Let's get it yeah. down. Let's give it a shot. Really chewy. It's the same texture as like a squid. Yeah. What are you going to score it out of 10? Nine. Nine? Because I like it. Okay, he's giving it a nine. I'm going to give it a seven. It's not my favorite. All right, let's try this crab. Look at the meat that came out of that thing right there. All right, let's give her a shot. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's like a mini mud crab. This is like a baby compared to the one that we caught last week. I'm giving the crab a nine. I love crab. Yeah. It's so good. Alrighty guys, we're on to the weird animals right now. So what we're going to start out with is this clam shell right now. I've never eaten a clam before, so. Alright, let's give her a taste. <laughs> no. no. That's a no from me on that one, guys. I'm giving that a 2 out of 10. We are finally on to the mantis shrimp right here. So we've got two mantis shrimp. Here we go. Alright, let's try it. Yeah. Some no for me on the mantis shrimp also, guys. <laughs> that is a solid, solid one out of 10, that mantis shrimp. I'm gonna stick to the crab and also the snails. This is gonna be my food for day number two. And tomorrow is day number three. And let me tell you guys, I'm gonna need to get some massive food in my belly because, Gio, I don't know how much I enjoyed this meal. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we've got the fire cooking away. That sun is setting over the horizon. Gio, I want you to come for day number three tomorrow for the cook up. Thank you. Okay. okay? You gotta bring one recipe though. You gotta bring a sauce. Yeah. You yeah. know which sauce I want. Jungle. Jungle juice. <laughs> Jungle That's juice. what I want. I'm gonna see you guys for day number three tomorrow. It is gonna get wild. Gio, he's probably gonna eat all my food. So uh, we're gonna have to get some extra food tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Shoo! Good morning to you guys. It is day number three right now. And take a look at this place right now. We are on a brand new stretch of coastline, guys. To be honest with you guys, I don't know why the hell I have so much energy because for the last two days, I've literally eaten scraps. So today we got the big dog out, we got the spear gun, and the plan of attack is we're going rhino hunting, baby. We're going to chase big dogs out there. We're swimming out deep and wide, and we're not coming in until we got a monster fish to cook over the barbecue a little bit later on. Alrighty, I'm dropping off the backpack. It is time to get out there and smack some food for day number three. I'm not coming in until we got something big. Let's get out there, eh? Let's go, woo!
beautiful fish right there guys all right i'm gonna see if i can get one more but he's an absolute beautiful trevally baby look at that right there we have got food for day number three take a look at this this is a beautiful trevally right there his face is a little bit sandy but you can see he's an absolute beautiful specimen this one he's gonna go so good over a fire and we also got this bad boy one of the tastiest fish over a fire i reckon in my opinion and this is a surgeon fish you can see right there it's got these blades on the tail and they literally like a surgeon's knife and that's why they call them a surgeon fish. Alrighty guys, we've got our two beautiful fish right here. I'm gonna get straight into cleaning these up, ready for the fire. I'm so hungry right now. So I've got this big ass bowie knife right here. What I wanna do is I'm just gonna find right where the anal hole is right there. And I'm just gonna cut all the way down towards the head. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna open it up just like so, just like that. And I'm just gonna get all the guts out of this fish. You can see right here. Ugh. You can see that's the guts right there. We don't want any of that. We'll get rid of all of that. You can see she's got no guts left. We'll clean that one up, but we'll get to cleaning up this bad boy. Same kind of thing, guys. I'll find right where that anal hole is, just here. And these ones, they're super smelly, man. So I'm gonna try not to get all the guts everywhere on this. All right, you guys can see, we're gonna split it open, get our hand in there. Feels absolutely great. And we'll just pull out all the guts on this thing. Look at that. Get rid of that. All right, you guys can see we've gotten all the guts out of this one also. I'm just gonna go give them a quick wash off and then they're gonna be ready for the fire, baby. All right, let's go give them a wash off. We have washed out our fish right here. You guys can see there's nothing left on the inside. Look, you can see in that trevally right there. It's super clean. We can leave them right here. It is time to go get a fire going. We're gonna build some mad pit and we're gonna cook these specific type of way. I'm so hungry, man, but we have got food for day number three. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we found this nice patch of sand right here. This looks like a good spot. I want to build out like a big pit, and then we're going to get a fire going. So let's start digging right here. We're going to collect some wood, some kindling, and let's get this thing cooking, eh? Let's go. All right, I'm going to start digging out a pit right here, guys, and this is where we're going to put our fish. So it needs to be a pretty solid pit. We'll dig her out. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm so hungry right now. Usually it's not a good thing when it's a large hole, but in this case, she's good. I reckon that's about good. We're sandy, we're salty, and we're bloody starving. Let's get this thing cooking, eh? Let's go. There's so much driftwood, man, but all of that stuff, that's quite wet, actually. So we'll go up here a little bit further, higher up on the tide, and we'll collect all this stuff. Yeah, that's all dry. This is perfect. That stuff, that's good to go over the fire. All right, we're going to collect these stones right here. And we're actually going to line this pit. We want to make this thing absolutely massive so we can get a massive fire going. 
Take a look at this place right now, guys. This deserted coastline is absolutely incredible, but I want to collect some kindling up here in the bushes. That is what we want right there. Let's collect a whole bunch of this, guys. I've gone and grabbed this big green piece of wood, and I've also got these two stakes on either side of the fire. We've got some kindling in our pit right now. And this knife sucks. All right, here we go. You guys can see, that is what we're gonna use. We're gonna feed the fish onto that, and then we're gonna put that straight over the fire, just like that. It is gonna be so good, man. I'm so hungry. So we've got our steel and flint right now. I've just crushed up all this kindling. It is super light and dry. I'm gonna throw this flame and uh, we'll get it cooking, eh? Let's go. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. We got our cooking, baby! We got all of this. We'll get this straight on. Yes! <laughs> Gotta be careful not to get spiked by the steak, but we'll get this on. Yes. Now the plan of attack is we just want to build up this fire, make it super large, and then we're going to get this fish straight on. Right, you guys can see right now, I've pretty much just taken all the bark off this uh, stick right here. We're going to sharpen the end of it, and we're going to feed that straight onto the fish, that sharp end right there. That's going to be perfect. Alrighty guys, our fire is cooking away right now. What I want to do with our fish is I want to just prep it and get it ready. Woo, that fire's cooking. I'm just going to score our fish right now, and that hopefully should give it just more of like an even cook, so gonna score each side of this fish you can see perfect right there alrighty guys this trebali right here it's got very very soft outside skin so I've just scored it as you can see right there but this fish right here its skin is almost like sandpaper so I'm not even gonna bother with it because it's gonna blunt my knife and these will get over the fire right now alrighty guys you can see we've got our fish right now and I've got our stick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it straight through the mouth and out the ass and then we're gonna chuck her straight over the fire you can see we've gone straight through the mouth right there, I'll feed this all the way along. That right there, that is perfect. That's gonna go straight over our fire. So I'll feed that one up just like that. And then we'll get our next one on, eh? And we'll get these over the fire. Alrighty. All right, we've got our fish on the stick right there. Absolute beast. Let's get this over a fire, eh? Let's go. Woo. All right, there's one there. There's another one right there. <laughs> that is so good, man. Yes! That is gonna be sick. All right, you guys can see our fish is cooking away really nicely. What I need to do right now is just make sure that this fire stays fueled, and then I can just rotate our fish just like so, and we can get a nice even cook on it. I'm so hungry right now. This is gonna be so good, man. Woo! Let her cook, baby. Woo! Look at that. Man. If you guys knew how hungry I was right now, look how good this fish looks. It's like Christmas right now. I've literally used all my last energy to catch this fish, and we got one mad cook up going down. <sighs> she smells insane, baby. Alrighty, our fish has been cooking away, guys. I think she's just about done, so I'm gonna take her off. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. I'm so hungry. You guys know we have struggled for the last two days. We've eaten some of the weirdest animals on planet Earth, but I'm so happy right now. We got these two giant fish. I'm gonna hook into this right now, guys. Oh, wait, I forgot. We've actually got a surprise guest. Look at this man. You guys might remember <laughs> him from yesterday. We got Gio right here. And have you got you something? Is this a secret ingredient? Yeah. He's got the secret <laughs> jungle juice, guys. You might remember this from a previous episode. You gotta swirl it and say jungle juice. Jungle juice. <laughs> this is grandma, grandma recipe. All right, let's put some. Cheers, jungle juice, fish. Thank you so much, Gio, for day number two helping me out. How's this right now, guys? We got the sun setting over the horizon. Me and Gio, we're just eating this meal. I asked Gio if he had his last meal on earth, what it'd be. And this bloke just said he would have this right now. This is it, eh? Yeah, fish. This is your last meal on earth. Before. <laughs> Look how beautiful that white meat is. We got the jungle juice right here. That is our food, baby. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, Gio. You're an absolute legend. And I'm going to see you guys in the next wild adventure. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Shoo!